raise money for disadvantaged children across the UK, Matt is taking on the road trip of his life. Yes. Now then, Paddy, before we find out where he's going, please reveal what he's going in. Here we are. There it is. Uh, yep, it's a big, man-powered yellow rickshaw. <laughs> Over the next four weeks, I'm going to get to know that instrument of torture very, very well indeed. One man, three wheels, and 484 miles of open road. Ah, children in need have set Matt a challenge. Ah, one that will push him to his limits. Boy, have we got a show for you, not ours. Matt has never been afraid of a challenge. As a gymnast, he represented England. On Blue Peter, he broke world records. Of his impressive moves on his way to the final of Strictly last year. But this is the most daunting test yet. Introducing Matt's Rickshaw Challenge, a grueling cycle from Edinburgh to London in just eight days. Starting at the crack of dawn, the days will be long and tough. Matt will be cycling for up to 10 hours a day, pulling a weight of up to 25 stones while battling north winds and freezing November temperatures. There'll be A roads, B roads, cattle grids, speed bumps, uphills and downhills that would test even the most experienced of cyclists. On top of all that, you'll also be picking up passengers along the way. It's an impressive challenge, but first he needs to be properly assessed. that could cause serious problems. Two years ago, whilst filming for Country File, he came a cropper. Despite the brave face, a scan reveals Matt fractured his back in the fall, a weakness that could flare up at any time. Injuries aside, if he's going to stand a chance of taking on this challenge, what he really needs is to beef up his legs. And trainer Joe Abbott wants to push him to the extreme. We've got a minute and ten seconds left. I want to see more picks on these legs. Come on. Last minute. Drive, drive, drive. A little bit more on this man. Here we go. Uh, uh, Ten seconds. Uh, Nine. Eight. I want you to max out. Max out. Five. Four. Uh, three. Two. And recover. Okay. Uh, uh, ease up. Well done. Woo! It's clear the Matt is going to find this tougher than he thought. I've got pins and needles all over my body at the moment. water-resistant, streamlined, and comfortable. This might be a bit tight. Okay. Your voice has gone up half an octave, so, you know. <laughs> and in a burst of children in need publicity, Matt realises he's taken on quite a challenge. I am still quite taken by how heavy it looks. I thought it would be a little bit lighter, but it's um, going to get going, really. For Matt's Rickshaw Challenge, text the word Matt to 70705. Messages will cost £5 plus his standard network charge, and £5 will go to children in need. For full terms and conditions, visit bbc.co.uk forward slash the one show. Well, judging by that, I better set off now. <laughs> <laughs> now then, to train Matt for this mammoth task, who better than four-time Scottish cycle champion and round-the-world endurance cycling, Gavin Mac Challenge. We're, we're running some of the mats on the on the, on the, the roof, the event, and uh, not only is it 484 miles, the cumulative climbing on the route is just 600 metres short of the height of Everest. So it's uh, yeah. Oh, thanks for telling me that. 800 <laughs> metres of climbing as well. So yeah, a, a lot of ascent, a, a real challenge. Yeah. Okay. Great. So how different then is riding a rickshaw to a normal bicycle? Oops, I was trying to explain this to Matt. Uh, it looks before. a lot harder. It, it, it is, it is, but not necessarily in the way you, you would imagine. It's a bit like riding your solo bicycle with your brakes stuck on, riding through treacle, what's giving a back ache to your biggest, heaviest mate. That's it, yeah. That, that's kind of the scale of it. I had a little go of it on Friday, and the thing is, no matter how hard you pedal, you actually can't go that much faster, can you? That's the exactly. trouble. So it's actually doing that distance.
Tiff is enough hours in the day. Are you about to get up early? Is it? No, I will. <laughs> and, and we haven't really got much time for this. Okay, Good girl. Who did you on. raise the same amount of money on a bicycle? Um, I'm just thinking about your bag. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll quickly, right. can you tell us, Gavin, where Matt will be going? Yep, he's written this from, from Edinburgh to London. And uh, he's initially going to pass through the beautiful Scottish borders, uh, down through Hoyk, day two on to Hexham. Day three is going to be a really tough day. That's got my steepest climb, a 17% gradient. That's kind of one in between one and five, one and six ascent uh, up onto the moors out of Stanhope. And then the roads get busier as Matt comes comes south and through the city and obviously into into London city centre itself. I'm just going to be very busy coming into the town. Yeah, great. Well, we do need all of your well, I need all of your help. So please come along and either get in the back or help me push it. Don't get in the back. (laughs) No one in the back. I think we should probably book Kain in down these small people. Do it. Get them in there. Like people. It's become an annual highlight in the one-show calendar. Mike and Miranda take over streets worth of gardens and uh, set up all of their secret gizmos.